Grade 6 Slam Number 7, Week 2, Second Quarter. Finding a Missing Term in an Inverse Proportion. Solve Problems Involving Inverse Proportion. In this lesson, you will be able to find the missing term in an inverse proportion. If 15 women can finish a work in 7 days, how many women can finish the same work in 5 days? In an inverse proportion, if you decrease the number of days to finish the work, there should be a corresponding increase in the number of women. Meaning, the number of days decrease, so the number of women should increase. If the work be finished by 15 women in 7 days, Will the same amount of work be finished by more or less than 15 women in 5 days? How will you form the proportion of this kind of problem? Solution To form this kind of proportion, write the number of days as one ratio and the number of women as other ratio. Place the higher value of each ratio on the same side of the quantity. Let n be the number of women. So, in the other side, number of days. Number of days mentioned are 7 and 5. And on the other side, the number of women. Number of women mentioned is only 15. The other number of women is still missing. We assume that that number will increase. So, we put N at the top. Because n will be the higher, higher value than 15. Let us solve for this kind of proportion. Again, we will do the cross multiplication. 7 times 15 is 105. 5 times n is 5n. Divide both by 5. And cancel out those two fives that will leave letter N alone. 105 divided by 5 is 21. Meaning, 21 is equals to N. Therefore, 21 women are needed to finish the work in 5 days. As you can see, as the number of days decreases, the number of women increases. This is an inverse proportion. Another example. A quarantine facility had provisions of food for 15 patients in 6 days. How long will the food last for 10 patients? So, in this problem, the number of patients decreases. So we will assume that the number of days will increase. To form this kind of proportion, write the number of patients as one ratio and the number of days as the other ratio. Place the higher value of each ratio on the same side of the quantity. Let n be the number of patients. This is patient, not women. Number of patients. 15 and 10. Number of days. 10 and 6. N because there is no second days mentioned. And we assume that the number of days will increase. So, n is higher than 6. Let us solve this proportion by doing cross multiplication. 15 times 6 is equals to 90. 10 times n is equals to 10n. 
divide them both by 10. Then cancel out those two 10 that will leave letter N alone. 90 divided by 10 is 9. So meaning 9 is equals to N. Therefore, the food will last 9 days for 10 patients. As you can see, from 6 days, the number of days increase to 9 days because the number of patients decreases from 15 to 10.